somewhere away from prying eyes. Where would that be? Well, I mean, if it's away from prying eyes, I probably can't see it. The, oh, ne okay, never mind. I see it. I see it. I must be on drugs. What up, everyone? Welcome back to Flo's Games, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. In the previous episode, we did, I believe we did our flying class, finally. And we made a little stop at J. Pippin's Potions. And he wants us to do a delivery to Fatima that's over in that direction. We, we tried to do a, a couple Merlin trials along the way, but I don't think we have the necessary spells in order to do them. Which is very, very, very annoying. So for now... I think we're actually going to do the... There's a couple bad guys behind us, so I think we're going to go ahead and do the other potions thing for freaking... What's his name? A Professor Sharp. So let's take one of these. And... Oh, jeez. And let's take... Uh, yeah, the maximum potion, too. Excellent. All right. Hello, boys! I'm here to kill ya! I'm here to kill you guys. Incendio. Petrificus Totalis? I don't have Petrificus Totalis. Oh, hi. I don't have Petrificus Totalis, so I couldn't have done that. Cursed fiend. But I did the thing I needed to, so at some point I can go back and... At some point I can go back and talk to Professor Sharp. But for now, let's just finalize this delivery for Fatima. Fatima! We're here with your invisibility potions! I mean, I don't know why you want to... I don't know why you want to go invisible. But our job is not to ask questions. Our job is just to get your shit. Where the hell am I, actually? Oh, wait, I see... And there's another Merlin trial. But I see something... Oh, Keenbridge. Okay. Rebellio. Oh, wait, aha, there. It's right here. What's this say? The Tilted House. Okay. Oh, shit, the house actually is tilted. Oh, wait, 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 I saw something. Oh, oh that thing. That that was a thing that I saw earlier, but I don't. I gotta figure out where to bring that. First, Fatima, Fatima Luang. Madam Luang. Or Luang. I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Oh shit! Cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Oh shut up! Well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Oh. Shut! Oh, you are a bitch! I I hate you already. Why did you buy them then? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can hmm. simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Again, then... Why? Uh, uh, okay, then. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. That is your thing, Gravy. You cannot out of me until you prove the potion works. What Drink the f- it. Oh, my fa- You- I hate you! Fine, I'll drink the potion. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. All right, fine. Drink an invisibility potion. There. You happy? It seems to have worked. Hmm. Yeah, no well, shit. I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not such chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. 
The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Okay, can you tell me about your customers then? He mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their... Uh... If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well, then. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Okay. Um, hey, you know, let's see. Let's just see what she even has to sell. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? She has nothing I want at the moment. I'm good, thank you. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. I know. Okay, I've searched around and uh, I, 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 I can't find it. I don't know where Rebecca. it is. But I did. Yep, I thought I saw that. Ginger root. Feel free to read. Yeah, might as well get a little drink while we're here. Ow. Hello. I'll always take a few galliums. But, wait, did I just see? Oh, tricky, tricky. You didn't think I'd see that, did you? Very tricky. Come on, I know swimming upstream is difficult. Wiganweld potion. That's that could could be better. Oh well. Uh, let's let's just make our way back to J. Pippin's potions. Yeah, and you can see all the Merlin trials that I found on the way and have still failed to do. I uh, but two hogs made. J. Pippin, I have done your dirty work. I I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Or Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Ah! Uh, ooh. Do I say it was no problem, or do I say she's certainly difficult? Ooh, that might have an influence in the future. I'd say she's. I'd say she's difficult. Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Oh, that's good. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say an additional fee. I'm not gonna say that. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the <laughs> way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Ooh. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Uh, uh, if it is, she doesn't deserve it back. I didn't realize. Oh, I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. You're a better person than I am. <laughs> hey, but we completed the quest. And we got a potioneer's cap. I think it's, at some point I am going to change my outfit up a little bit. A little bit probably in the next episode so actually what is there that we can do now um i don't say oh wait a quest here wait 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 flight test after completing my broom flight training in madame uh Kagawa's flying class ever mentioned checking in with uh, albi weeks at uh spent witches to get a broom oh oh okay so we can get a broom uh, how many galleons do I have? Would it be an inventory? Gear, maybe? Uh, here we are. Uh, I've only got 572 galleons. I, I definitely think it's going to cost more than that to get a broom. So, I think we're going to refrain from now. For now. So, in the meantime, what other quests are there? A Professor Sharp's assignment? Okay, so I need to attend potions class during the day in order to get the pulse so. Flight test, I already checked that out. That one I have no clue how to do. That one I just have to randomly find things. Uh, there's In the Shadow of the Undercroft and the Room of Requirement. So if we do this one... Um... Oh. I can I can probably find Sebastian as usual spot near the Defense Against Dark Arts, Dark Arts classroom. 
Okay, I think I'm going to go to Professor Sharp first. Oh wait, duh, I, actually, I just have to take the class, I'm dumb. Uh, where is... Not divination. Here we go, potions classroom. Professor Sharp! I'm here to take your class! Oh. Hello, you potion people! Wait, does he... Does he have a limp? Ooh! Magic! And there's just me looking very out of place in the back. Yeah, the guy's got a little bit of a limp. Yeah, uh, buddy, I, How are your assignments coming along? Quite well. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn the Pulso. Let's see what you can do. Nice. I don't know what the Pulso is. Concentrate. Do not let your mind oh, wander. Oh, right. I, compl I completely forgot about this. All right. Let's try this out. Hey, did it. I've learned the Pulso, even though I have no clue what that is. You've New spell, the Pulso. If you like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Okay. All right, let's try out the Pulso. Uh, here it is. What is the Pulso? Repels many types of objects and enemies consider with considerable force. Although it deals no direct damage to foes, enemies and objects alike can be launched into each other with destructive results. Also useful for pushing and spinning objects for a vary of purposes. Hmm. That might be what I need for that thing. For the ball I saw earlier. Alright, let's put it there. Or actually, no, let's put it here. And then we'll put we'll put Accio back there. All right, so let's try to pulse out. Well done. I'm All right. To see that you've been staunchly determined to master your the spell banishing outing. charm to pulso is a force spell that pushes enemies and objects away from the caster. Interesting. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Well, we did it. We now have the pulso. So I think now we should do one more thing. Uh, it's either one of these things. Um, according to this, it, this says we should go meet Professor Weasley first. So yeah, let's go, let's go meet Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley, we wish to speak with you. I have no clue where you are, but I still wish to speak with you. Oh, jeez. Wait, is, is she in the astronomy tower? She, oh, it looks like she is. Professor Weasley. We wish to speak with you, wherever you are. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Where would that be? Well, I mean, if it's away from prying eyes, I probably can't see it. The, oh, ne okay, never mind. I see it. I see it. I must be on drugs. So what am I looking at? Forgive me. The headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Uh, thank you. Shall we? After you, Professor. All right, let's see what the heck I'm getting myself into. Wow. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a okay. student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever i'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall focusing on what you need 
But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Okay. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Who's Deke? Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Uh, oh. He might help you use the room once you've found it. Oh, no. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. That's why I come in. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco. Oh. The vanishing spell. I was going to use the pulse, but all right. Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. Okay. I you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Oh, but we got to do the thing again? Oh, oh, this oh, this looks like a snake. This this is going to be bad. All right. Let's do this. Uh, come on. I did it! Evanesco, it looks like a fart. Alright, well, we've learned it. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Okay, uh, here's Evanesco. Uh, let's put it on... Let's put it over Accio. Actually, no, let's put it up here, and then let's put this over to Pulso. I mean, over where Accio was. Alright, if you say so. Excellent what? work. All right, then. You will note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Okay. Let's move on. Oh, I just nearly hiccuped. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Well, he's probably hidden somewhere. There's plenty of places for a tiny little elf to is hide. Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. Can't believe it's still here. Well, you I'll found just it. Let's take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Very well then. Let's look. Oh. Me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Sorry, madam. Ooh, we can try Evanesco again. Got more moonstone. Hmm. This looks strangely more green. This, I, oh, I think I know. I think with that we need. Let me nope, we need. Where do we? Depulsa. Nope, we need. Oh, no, wrong one. We need. We need Accio back. Accio. Let's bring it out a little bit more. Okay. Now, okay, no, we can't go down there. Which means you probably need it to go up higher somewhere. That's the only thing I can think of. But what's this? What? How? Who knows how long that drink has been sitting? Who knows how long that tea has been sitting there? That's disgusting. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Hello. Uh. Nope. Why are you looking at me? Okay, fine. Let's continue down through here. As precarious as it looks. It probably is. An intruder! Stop them! What? What was that, Deke? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no, not that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Oh. Oh, that's sad. Uh, no, dang it. Uh, let's let's cast for Paro. Help him. Uh, let's put it over. Let's put it over Levioso for now. Reparo. Reparo? Aw, I thought that could help him. Oh well. Oh, Evanesco again. What is with all the. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, more magic hedge trimming! But, um, yeah, let's continue. Oh! What's that? Ooh. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. <laughs> Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Alright, let's keep going. Dick. Oh. Dick. Where are you? I'm sharpening my axe so I can slice your butthole. D oh. 
What's with all the lanterns? Jeez. Um, don't mind, don't mind me, lanterns. Just need to come through and find one Mr. Deke. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? They probably don't. Deke! Oh, I ch okay, never mind, I can't. Oh. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Wait. Oh, no, it's just another picture frame. There's so much in here. What was that? What? what? Wait, do I hear? Was that a golden stitch? Oh, I thought it was another dedalian, a dedalian key. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> what are you on about? Oh, Wiggable Potion, I'll definitely take that. But I saw a golden snitch. Uh, a little bit more. There we go. Ooh, we, there are two directions we can go. I'm gonna go this way. What exciting things are in here? Oh! Oh, those are books. I hope that house elf can find us in here. I I I can barely tell where I am in here. Oh, flu flames for the room of requirement. Come on, show me the flu flames. Oh, there he is. Yikes! Careful, huh? Deke. Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Dobby will always is be the greatest the house elf. Indeed it is. Dobby will always be Deke the greatest house elf. to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. Aww. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Okay. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seems Interesting. to be of an extra file for potions, stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, I guess that makes sense. The room can provide you with precisely that. Okay. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. Click my heels three times and say no place like home. Rest. Okay. I'm with. Oh, what? What's happening? What's what's happening? What's happening? Oh, flying books. Oh, this is much more than I expected to happen. What the? Yo! You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. Uh, it can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Uh, you have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. Okay, then. Use the desk of description. We're gonna do that in the next episode. I mean, finding the room of requirement was amazing in and of itself. But you know what? 
This has been Flo's Games. This has been Hogwarts Legacy, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video.